Hello, this video is made by Corona Safe. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial uh, for any control room ambulance manager on how to generate requests for ambulance and also supervise the running of ambulances. Please log into logistics.coronasafe.network and sign in with your user ID and password. Once you have logged in, this is the map view that you'll see with the live location of all ambulances within your area. You can also see the list of ambulances available and their details when you click on asset list on the left hand side of the screen. Also the requests that have already been generated will appear here under the request list tab. Next is create request. This is the form you have to fill out to create request for an ambulance. First, in request group, you select ambulance. And then request category, you need to mention the exact kind of ambulance that you require. In this case, I'm going to put in ambulance critical care. You have to mention how many units you require. And then type in the pickup address. I have mentioned the exact address for pickup. You may choose to add uh, a destination address. However, that is optional. In support contact, you're supposed to type in the phone number of the patient or the beneficiary. And depending on the, uh, on the urgency of the request, you're supposed to put in the query radius. I am going to type in two kilometers here and then I click on broadcast request. Here, the request has already been broadcasted. Once a request is broadcasted, it can be viewed by clicking on request list on the left hand side of the screen. And there, the request that you've just generated appears. If you click on more information, you can see more information about the same request. Here in the information of the request, you can see the pickup address that you've typed in, destination address if you have typed in any. You can see uh, the number of units uh, that has received the request, the number of units that have uh, been notified, and the number of units that responded. Here, because it shows that one unit has already responded, you know that the trip has been accepted by one ambulance. The responded units name and number appears here and the notified units name and number appears here once the ambulance driver has picked up the patient here the notification for pickup turns green once the trip is completed you will no longer be shown the cards or the detail of the request that you had just created to see the past trips or requests please click on show expired here you can see the list of trips that has expired or has been completed. Thank you.